Hello everyone, today's game is called Scooter Bowling, and I found this game on PEUpdate.com. In the description below, I'll place a link to the actual lesson plan, because the lesson plan varies from the video demonstration I'm going to show you today. Today's game is for grades 5 through 8, and the equipment you will need is based off of each group of four students. You will need one scooter, one dodgeball, six cones, and six bowling pins. For today's activity, we'll be using scooters, so we'll need to be on a smooth playing surface. When creating your bowling alley, remember that four students need to be on one bowling lane. When setting up your pins, I like to use two triangles of six bowling pins, and I'll explain why later. Two students will be on the bowling pin side, and two students will be on the scooter side. For video demonstrations, we'll be looking at one bowling lane. When demonstrating this activity to the students, the teacher must point out the starting line, the thrust line, and the release line. The starting line is where you and your partner must start from. The thrust line is where you or your partner must stop pushing each other. And the release line is where you must throw the dodgeball. How this activity works is that on each team, you will have a shooter and a pusher. The shooter will sit on the scooter and hold the dodgeball. The pusher will stand behind the shooter and at the starting line will push the shooter on the scooter. The teacher really needs to point out how to push a student on a scooter properly. Students need to push in the lower back. They must bend their knees and their back to get as low as they can. When the student on the scooter is ready, the pusher will push the shooter down the floor. When they reach the thrust line, they must stop pushing. The shooter will continue rolling to the release line where they must throw the ball at their pins. Pushing past the thrust line or tossing past the release line is considered a foul and cancels the attempt. A point is scored for every pin that is knocked down. The two players that are, at, that are down on the opposite side of the pins have two jobs. One is to stop the roller from rolling into the cones or pins, and two is to retrieve the ball and give it back to the other team. Now, this is why I like to make two triangles with my bowling pins. I want the shooters to be able to switch turns. I do not want them to have one turn and then get a strike. Because when they're done, the two people switch positions. The pusher becomes the shooter, and the shooter becomes the pusher, and they get their second chance at the game. And that's basically it. After the first team has gone, the two teams switch, set up the bowling pins, and start all over. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. Change anything you want. It's up to you. You're the teacher. You know what's best. And as always, be the best PE teacher you can possibly be. Till next time, see you later. Physical education for free.